Devin Bell says, what are your thoughts on step loading versus wave or linear progression? So I suppose there's like kind of three options there. Step loading and wave though are most cases just individual interset sessions and they would really be considered a entire program in themselves. Linear progression is a misnomer at this stage. It's wave loading or periods of respite are all originally included in block periodization, yeah. which is probably why we should stop saying linear progression unless we mean to say linear progression, which in reality is basically what nobody does unless, and this is what Brodjik thinks, it's just because people are taking no drugs. Now, I've heard a good argument against that block periodization wasn't just used in people who were using androgens because at the time when block periodization was being solidified by, oh my God, what's his name? Um, not for Shansky, someone else. Um, when Medivh, when Medivh was kind of putting pen to paper on block periodization, the Americans, as it was termed at the time, weren't so much using block periodization and they were also an androgen, so it's not really a case yeah. of that. So, um, step loading, increasing sets are nice sometimes, uh, wave sets can be useful sometimes. Linear progression isn't really a thing in reality. Uh, when we say linear progression, we should really say block periodization most times, unless, of course, again, if you're talking about linear progression, it'd be great if we could just do linear progression. Yeah. To be honest, everything is linear progression. Sorry, every, the majority of, of standard strength and conditioning protocols progress linearly uh, across a period of time. Even if there's, there's steps or there's waves and you're going up, if you drew that line, you wouldn't be training if you weren't getting better in that kind of general direction, you know? So it really is a case of how close in you want to zoom to look at your parameters or your, your increases over time. Yeah, that's like the problem with linear and stuff is language is there's kind of nuance yeah. in regards to that. Block periodization works and it's a conclusion different people came to. There's like nuances for block periodization, but you'll know if you're in those nuances and the chances are you aren't in those nuances. You'd know because people will be paying you money to be an athlete, you know? And so you wouldn't even be worrying about that yourself in most scenarios. So for most people and most of these athletes, block periodization works for everyone. I, you see, the problem with the kind of current culture is that people have their hills that they die on. Yeah. Whereas block periodization sounds like a med that you subscribe to, but in reality, it's mostly how the human organism peaks for an event. You know, it's not really a program that people sell. It's more of a fundamental concept. It's like a laws of physics in regards to athletic endeavor. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not, Absolutely. it's not really something you can avoid. Um, you know, it's funny. Ivan was talking about this in his videos. He said he basically accidentally block redesigned himself with his auto regulation training. So it is a fundamental law of being a human at least the these principles you have to adhere to these principles if you want to get better now there is other little nuances and random cases but for most of the time rock periodization is how we as humans get better so yeah. it's unfortunate that the environment we're in where we are in a place where people have to take stands you know people as extreme as joe seedman where 90 degree angles for every movement are, are the only thing he will subscribe to or you know the squat every day thing or stuff like that it's, it's unfortunate because the principal human organism you know is it's a, it's a little bit different to that and that's yeah. the kind of principle you know so it's uh again it's like a language problem in people's association with language and to be honest they're all they are all just systems you use at different points with different athletes mm -hmm. like if you looked at the the stable of lifters and, and athletes we have at the moment they're all getting some blend of these like it's the whole the real issue people get into is the hill that they're dying on and they really bite down hard because this is the only thing they're they're moving towards uh you, do, you don't need to find the perfect tool you just need to find the perfect like it doesn't need to be the perfect tool forever you just need the right tool for what you need right now uh you know on that as well right so the, we talk about the hill that people die on and people's kind of like counter I love having do you, I know you this well do you know where because obviously we make a lot of videos I always have counter arguments in my head yeah, yeah, like, yeah. what would someone say to me if I made this argument so people will say yeah but you haven't tried this so how do you know it doesn't work you know and there is points where I think you can feasibly say 
as a rational adult, you can say, I can deduce from experience, theoretical knowledge and other people's experience, theoretical knowledge, that this thing won't work. For example, it might look very related for us to say, for example, the squad every day is a great one because it's kind of, mm. it's big at the moment. Again, this is nothing to do with life, but squad every day was way before him or whatever. So if someone says, lads, but how do you know squat every day doesn't work? Well, we know that, for example, if people can't squat more than three times a week and get really fatigued, even people on drugs, we can say, well, doing more again <coughs> certainly isn't going to take us to a different realm. There isn't going to be some yeah. different biological process out there that just happens when you do it seven times a week. You know, that's not what's going to happen. In some of these scenarios, you might as well say, well, why don't you try burning your leg with a lighter? Yeah, but you know? it's the same thing. You know, we use deductive reasoning on what works, theoretical knowledge, um, other people's knowledge, personal experience, and we go, okay, so we're getting... We know mostly what works and we have a great idea of what will work for most people. So we keep going in that direction and think this deviate drastically from that. And if we know that there is no scenario in between what definitely works and what seems drastically different and there's no logical place in between why you would get to there, then I just think yeah. you, you can't ever really put yourself in a place where you would just go do those things because it's such an easy comeback to people like well, you haven't tried it you don't even yeah, know yeah 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 you know but it's uh, I'm not saying this person but I but I just do that in my the, head all the time you know the temperature analogy thing though is perfect for, for that of like how much training is too much training so if you have a 40 degrees celsius cup of tea right might be too <coughs> enjoyable might be just a bit cold then you go to 50 and you're like oh this is better this cup of hotter tea is more enjoyable for me to drink I love hot tea then you go to 60 and you're like oh it's getting a bit hot 70, 80, 90, whatever it is, you don't go from burning your mouth with a 90 degree cup of tea to then saying, oh no, something's going to happen at 100 degrees now and I'll be able to keep going, you know? You don't ride the lightning with volume and training where you can just keep going <coughs> just because you've hit this magical point. It really doesn't work that way. Yeah. Um, so, it's... And again, I'm not talking about people here in this particular live stream and just saying... No, no, not at all people who uh, it's funny we'll get comments right uh, the doping ones are a good example of that where people are so far removed from what actually happens when they make these things to you you're like Jesus how do I give you 10 years of what I know to be true how yeah. do I give this to you in a YouTube comment when you can so easily say we're like you know someone commented again yesterday this fellow commented on, on the, across the doping thing you're like why don't you have these people on to defend themselves so First of all, we don't care if they're doping. We're not looking for yeah. them. We don't think they're committing an egregious action trying to do the impossible with CrossFit. No. We're just saying this is very likely. We know to be true in many scenarios. A CrossFit Games athlete commented on the YouTube to say this is pretty spot on. Yeah. A 2016 CrossFit Games athlete agrees with us. So <laughs> Who's now an Olympian. Who's now an Olympian. <laughs> so how do you say, how do you condense this down? You know, when someone is, there was a very funny quote or this thing before, someone we knew was talking to a lecturer in university and he went and asked him it was sports science wasn't it and he said something similar yeah he yeah, said, yeah yeah your man asked him a question uh, in kind of a, a kind of a gotcha question for i remember and the lecturer says you don't have the prereqs of knowledge to have this conversation with me basically get out now i would never say yeah. that to someone but i want to say that to someone sometimes yeah do you know because you're like how do you like how do you start like yeah just like an example of <clears throat> a horrendous way of thinking right um, and it might seem that we're always super skeptical. Somebody talked the other day in the in a comment and said, no, no, the people who are at the games and winning the CrossFit Games, due to the fact that they're winning, means they're the genetic elite and they're less likely to be doping. Lads, I don't I don't know if you know what drugs do. Yeah. Where do you start with that? Where, like, where you, it's not that you don't have the requisite knowledge to have the conversation. I don't even know if you understand what sport it is like. <laughs> I don't even know if you are a human. Like, you, like my, my Labrador at home would understand things better than you do. Like, uh, the, our, parents, our parents get this, like, would get it better than this person who's involved in CrossFit. Absolutely. Like, yeah. They're all my dead guys. grandmother would get it better. Yeah, it's... it's. But the, it's just that the insert thing... Anyway, we'll move on. Because how the fuck did we get to that? I don't I, know. I can feel myself getting worked up. 